So I want to just cover the docker log command and docker logs is a mechanism that docker can use in order to get log output. Now what docker does is to just listen to a process, in our case we're running supervisor, and anything that the process that docker is running outputs to standard out or standard error is sent out to the docker logging mechanism. So we are looking at the output of the supervisor process here and we only see that just because that is going to standard out or standard error because we configured that in our supervisor configuration, right? So everything just goes to standard out or standard error. And therefore we can see it in the output here. And if I do see Docker PS to get the container name and I'll do Docker logs and the container name, we see the output. And you can even do Docker logs dash F to follow it. So any new output gets sent here, but we're missing some stuff, right? We have output from supervisor, but we do not have output from Nginx and we do not have output from PHP. So let's see what we can do to change that. I'm gonna cancel this container with control C. That's no longer running. There's no longer any containers left over because we use that dash dash remove flag. And remember our goal here is to get everything output to standard out or standard error. So supervisor is the top level program that Docker is running and it's already set out to grab stuff from standard out or standard error for its Nginx or PHP FPM. So our next job is to get Nginx and PHP FPM to output to standard out or standard error. So there's two parts to that. In Nginx, the configuration is fairly simple. I can just go on here and run another command, or I could add it to the end of this command, but I typically add it as a new line here. And I'm gonna do a symlink, and I'm gonna symlink the source, the file that actually exists, dev standard out, and say create that, a symlink to this dev standard out at var log Nginx access log. And this is where Nginx is gonna write its log output to according to our configuration. Our configuration actually for uh, Nginx does not tell Nginx where to write the log files to, so it'll go to the default location. Default location is var log Nginx access log and var log Nginx error log. So anything that Nginx tries to write to var log Nginx access log is gonna end up at standard out. Anything it tries to write to its error log will actually get directed to standard error. And because supervisor is listening at those locations for Nginx, it's gonna suck those up and send it off to its own standard out or standard error output. And Docker will therefore get that as well. So we'll save that change and we can rebuild this in a minute. The other thing I'm just gonna do here is go to phpfpm.conf and I'll check out the error log for it as well. And here it's a little funky. Uh, I had to Google this a bunch, but I can't just do dev standard error for the error log here. That doesn't work like you think it should. Dev standard error is itself an alias for a special file that sends stuff to standard error in Linux. So the actual thing we want here is slash proc self fd for file descriptor two, and this is gonna send actual error output that gets written to the error log and it's gonna send it to standard error instead, and that's gonna work to get that output to supervisor, which in turn sends that output to Docker. Okay, so we have those changes there. Let's go ahead and rebuild our image once again. So we'll get those changes. And we can see using cache for here, and then it gets to run LNSF, so to create a symlink, and then it does all the steps underneath it again, because once you hit the first item that cannot be cached in a Docker file, none of the ones after it are cached or taken from cache either. So in our Docker file, we added this line. So all this stuff above it, it gets taken from cache when we do Docker build, then this does not because it's new, and this stuff underneath here does not as well. So let's go ahead and do Docker run once again. And I'll do dash IT flag again. And now we will get log output for both supervisor and Nginx and PHP. So head over here, I'll refresh this a few times, head back and we saw access logs for Nginx. And in fact here, right here, this you see how this is a different log format. This is actually the PHP FPM logging as well. So we have supervisor, PHP FPM and Nginx logging all output here. Now heading back over here, I'll do Docker PS to get the container name. We can do Docker logs and get all the current log output for the container named this, or this container with that ID or named youthful hawking uh, as well. And then of course, like I showed you before, we can do docker logs dash F and that will follow, that'll tail the logs, right? So I'll highlight this, do refresh this a few times, go back and we'll see we have some new log output there. Okay, now I did that IT, let's push that to the background, right? So now we have a Docker container running in the background and the exact same thing. Uh, since I don't have this set in the foreground of my shell here, I don't see the log output there, so I would have to do docker logs dash F and the container ID to get that same output. 